for, but I didn't delve deep into them. A couple of them we'll talk about. But so this group right here, we're talking about the 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 bottom of the bottom of that last tier of starter type material, right? Preferably you like to have these guys on your bench as a fill in. But you might you might have to muck up and get one of these guys. So quickly, Danny Santana, 135 ADP. Kevin Biggio, 141 ADP. Swanson, 238. Gregorius, 205. Newman, 219. Segura, 192. DeJong, 185. Kingery, 179. Low, 197. You see my numbers are a little bit skewed here. I like Danny Santana. He's multi-position eligible. But with the depth in the outfield, if you're going to draft Danny Santana, you need to put him at first or second. He's eligible at both. He's a bit of a flash in the pan. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it slowly, because it's important. Danny Santana's 2019 stats. I want to pause. Everywhere he's been, he's gotten rave reviews. It's been about opportunity with Danny Santana. That hurdle's been taken away. His 2019 stats, 283, 28 homers, 21 stolen bases. Danny Santana's been named the everyday center fielder in Texas. He's going to play. He's going to get the opportunity. Maybe he doesn't hit 28 hummers. Maybe he doesn't steal 21 bases. Maybe he does more. 44 games at first. 17 games at second and 51 in the outfield. He should be eligible in all three positions. I like Danny Santana. I like him in that offense. I like him in that park. I think maybe his homers come down, but his stolen bases go up. You're looking at a 25-25 guy. I love this next guy. Kevin Biggio. 141.3. What a great lineage. You're paying just a touch for a poor average. But he's got 30-30 potential. 234 last year. 16 homers. 14 stolen bases. I want to talk about, and I'm going to get off of here. Let's talk about prospects and projectables. Let's talk about some guys that maybe you haven't considered, that maybe you could pick up and be happy with at the end of the year. Think back and think, man, I'm really glad I got, glad I got Tommy Listella this year. Man, I'm glad I got Nick Solak, right? Let's talk about prospects first. though. I'm just going to run through these names, and I'm going to talk about them as they pique my interest. Vidal Brujan, Minnesota. He's a speed power guy. He's predominantly a speed. ETA is 2022. Bobby Witt Jr., 2022. Royce Lewis is projected to come up this year. He's a speed guy. 2022 with the Mariners. He could be an impact. Nick Madrigal with the White Sox is projected to be up this year. Again, I don't multitask well. Um, Magical's a hit machine, so he, he's going to project for a high average. 
Uh, probably mediocre with power, but certainly the White Sox are uh, flush with talent. Frank Liberato. I, I think, you know, to Mal Paul's point earlier, this is a guy who's going to be at least given a look. You're talking about a former top prospect. He's shown glimpses of competency. He's shown glimpses of excellence. He's a speed-power combo. Um, I look for him him to be given every opportunity to win that second base job in Oakland. (coughs) And I am a fan of Franklin Barreto. I think he could be a 2020 guy. I think he could carry you right around a 280 average. And, um, you know, in all honesty, you'll take that coming off your bench out of your uh, middle infielder, right? I am buying Franklin Barreto. Gavin Lux is, is the other really main guy. You know, Brendan Rodgers I'm not a big fan of. Um, Nico Horner should be decent. Gavin Lux is really going to have a good opportunity to put up some big numbers this year. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. Um, guys, my name's Chappie. You're listening to Chaps Fantasy Chat. I come to you on Tuesday nights. Normally me and my buddy would be on. Me and my buddy Arnie would be on at 9 o'clock. Uh, but tonight... It's not going to work out next weekend or next week. We should be on, but please join me on Tuesday nights. I appreciate everyone for joining me. Um, Chaps fantasy chat Tuesday nights on the Lenny Melnick fantasy sports network. Peace. God bless. And we'll talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.